Welcome back everybody to the short series of Borderlands weapons today going around with the siren for the first time and this is why this is because I'm going around with a Hellfire submachine gun and this is probably the strongest weapon in the whole game because of its extreme damage over time effect it might be it might not be that useful against the burning psychos because the elemental effect doesn't work against them but against normal enemies uh, it is extremely powerful so I give them one shot uh, to hit him uh, and the damage over time is very very strong So against this one, the elemental effect doesn't work, but the bullets will hit him. Uh, the class mod I use actually looks like this. The most important things are the 56% increased SMG damage and the plus 23 SMG ammo region. And again I use a shield with HP region, fast HP region. And my skill setup looks like this. Uh, just because of uh, the combat skills that make me really strong because of the shield capacity, the health region while in face walk, the cooldown reduction for the face walk, and this makes the enemies confused with a chance of 15% with each bullet. That is not max because I often use a uh, double savior and that's why I almost always have enough bullets to confuse enemies fast enough. Uh, this increases the fire rate, this increases the chance of proking elemental effect which is uh, not really needed with the hellfire because it always procs the fire. This increases my movement speed and the experience gain, but uh, since I'm level 69 I just need the movement speed while, I kill, uh, while getting kills. And the Phoenix skill is self-explanation. I have 25% uh, to shoot and don't uh, have uh, the decrease in the magazine capacity and it increases the fire damage when I get a kill. Uh, this one decreases the damage I have to take after the face walk skill. This one increases my accuracy and the projectile damage. That is just used for the face walk duration. This one for the projectile velocity and the damage. And that decreases the cooldown of the face walk by 6 seconds each time I get a kill so that I can get two kills and the face walk is refreshed. Oops. What I really like with especially this kind of the of the Hellfire is that it's an HX which is always really strong the 140 is, I think, the second of the strongest numbers. I think actually the strongest might be the 540 or 550, I don't know. And the C for the really high elemental effect. And this one actually has a really high reload speed, so that I can shoot, reload, or maybe shoot on because uh, I have a magazine capacity of 55 and that's always enough. Almost always.
So you can see the damage over time really strong and also the projectile damage itself very high. Ah, this one is a badass. So I can just keep him there and let the damage over time finish him. That's how it works. And that's how it works against the the green enemies in the Cromorax area. So you can just shoot at them with the Hellfire and they will die because of the, the really high elemental prop. I think they, they suffer from that element by 10,000s of damage. I actually don't know the the exact numbers, but I think those are elemental procs of over 10,000. Again, a badass. And also this one. What's happening? I was confused. But I wonder why the damage over time didn't keep on working. Ah, doesn't matter. Always falling. And the most important thing with the siren is if you ever have trouble with enemies, you can just face walk in and are out of danger. You can get so high HP region because of your skills and after the phase walk ends you have a 70% damage reduction so you almost get invincible because of that skill and that's why I think the Siren is a little bit overpowered in comparison to the other classes but also in PvP because of her confusion I did try this with a friend and while confused your you could have a fire rate of 10 before and then your fire rate is decreased to 0.5 or something like that. The the fire rate is extremely decreased by the confusion so that uh, maybe a glorious havoc becomes a single like a single shot weapon. And that makes the siren so overpowered in the PvP. If you just spam enough bullets, your enemy will be confused and will not be able to keep the damage on. And also the, the siren can become invisible because of the face walk. If you don't use if you don't use uh, which one is it? This one. If you use this skill, the enemies or the PvP enemies can see you because then you are uh, like a lightning that rushes over the map. But if you don't get this, then you are invisible. And once I played with a friend with Siren against Siren, and he used that skill, and I always could see him, and I used it my face walk when he used it and I stayed invisible and could go with him and he couldn't see me but I could. So when he came back I could just shoot and he was confused before I was and so I won some fights until he, he saw that I knew where he was. So Sledge actually finished very fast because of the high damage over time. And now I'm going to leave this area to kill the rebirth of Slash. And you will see where it is. So now I'm on the Ridgeway and as I said it I wanted to show you something else that you can kill really fast with a Hellfire. And that would be the rebirth of Sledge that is down here. And therefore you need to get a quest, I think, uh, near the world's largest bullet. I just think that is uh, where uh, a little man wants some 
some alcoholics and gives you the the Chiquita Chiquito Amigo a machine pistol for that. Then you get another quest <coughs> I'm sorry. Where you uh, where he tells you that the sledge is reborn and this is the sledge. It's called the motorhead and this is one where the hellfire works very very well because of its high elemental damage and damage over time. And this one actually is the only one who can, dra can drop a weapon which I want to show you in the next video. I'm not going to tell you now what is waiting for you because I hope you are excited a little bit because the weapon is really really strong I think if you do it correctly it has even more damage than the hellfire but that's the problem with the weapon and you will see what I mean in the next episode if you stay with us so hope you had fun enjoyed it and see you next time